Hey everyone, I have your five tips for watching the new film Oppenheimer. While I enjoyed Oppenheimer, I recognize that the film is a little confusing. Since I think this is such an important film, I thought I'd share five tips on how to get the best viewing experience when watching Oppenheimer. While you're here, be sure to hit subscribe for more videos. Tip number one, there are two stories. There are two stories being told and they each have two narratives one with the action in the present and the other with the action in the past, creating four separate narratives that are intertwined. There's an easy visual cue to help you tell them apart. The first story is shown in black and white from the perspective of Louis Strauss. His two narratives include the congressional hearing and his memories of J. Robert Oppenheimer. The second story is shown in color from the perspective of J. Robert Oppenheimer. His two narratives include the committee meeting for his security clearance appeal and his memories related to the Manhattan Project. Tip number two, scenes are duplicated. Strauss and Hoppenheimer experience some of the same moments duplicating scenes within the film. This is confusing since the pattern isn't immediately clear during the first third of the film. The black and white scenes are from Strauss's memory or perspective, and the color scenes are from Oppenheimer's perspective. Tip number three, limit what you eat and drink. The film is three hours long, people. There is almost no way to get through the movie without going to the bathroom if you eat or drink anything before or during the film. Tip number four, there are no images of World War II. The film is told from the perspectives of Strauss and Oppenheimer, and it doesn't include footage of events that they did not personally or directly witness. So there is no footage of the Jewish death camps, nor are there images of Hiroshima or Nagasaki being bombed. Oppenheimer only saw the fireball from the smaller test bomb, not the massive mushroom cloud of the live bomb. These missing visuals are addressed through exposition and physical reactions. It works for some viewers, but it doesn't work for others. Tip number five, the film is a fictionalized historical with a moral. This isn't a documentary. Like all historicals, the film combines various facts to create scenes that feel like true representations of what Strauss and Oppenheimer experienced. The film also skims over some things while inventing others to fill in the holes. The film is constructed as a modern day technology fable meant to encourage greater care and consideration during the research and implementation of new technology. I think knowing these five tips before you go to the theater will help you have a better viewing experience. Let me know what you think and hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon.